This is the Daydream View virtual reality headset from Google. It's a $79 accessory that requires a Daydream ready smartphone to use. Right now, that list is pretty small, but it is growing quickly as Android 7.0 Nougat rolls out to more devices. The Moto Z phones and the new Pixel phones currently support Daydream. But to get inside the box, all we need to do is slice off the two pieces of tape and fold open the right hand side of the box. We'll see the first item in the box is a controller. There's a trackpad along with a few other buttons, which we'll revisit in a moment, but already the inclusion of a controller sets this headset apart from the many other mobile VR headsets in circulation. Next, we have the Daydream View itself with a gray fabric finish. Upon first impressions, it tells you ahead of time that you're in for a comfortable ride as the fabric coating is extremely comfortable. It feels great in the hands, far better than Google Cardboard and many plastic viewers on the market. The last two items in the box include a wrist strap for the controller and the cutest little user manual I have ever seen. Look at it, it's just adorable. But taking a closer look at the Daydream View headset, we'll see a little trap door of sorts that folds down to allow you to insert your Daydream ready device. In my testing, I have used the Pixel XL as it offers a denser resolution and a, a greater field of view. You will also see inside this flap is a small strap to hold the remote for when you travel with this headset. There's also a head strap, of course, and two lenses. Overall, I really like the build of this accessory. I do also wanna take a closer look at the controller. So the controller is pretty small. It's fairly ergonomic in the hand. Up front, there's a trackpad with a app button below that and a home button below that. On the right-hand side, we have volume controls. And on the very bottom, there is a USB-C connector port, which will be used for charging this controller. And inside the controller, we have an accelerometer. So this controller can act a lot like a Wii remote. The setup process is very straightforward. All you need to do is pop your device into the headset and you'll see all of the required apps will pop up and ask for your permission to be installed. It's really just a matter of scrolling through the prompts and disclaimers. But generally speaking, when you want to enter VR, you just pop your device into the headset and it'll boot up the Daydream app automatically. It's all very seamless. But the reason you are all here is because you wanna know about the experience. Now I found Daydream to feature a ton of potential. It's a brand new product, brand new app, and already there's several exclusive games like a Fantastic Beasts game. Uh, there's Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, and HBO Now, as well as a bunch of news apps from the likes of CNN and BBC. It's hard to show you what it's like in video, but the menus are very modern and are in tune with Google's material design theme. There's very little loading times between when going home and switching between applications. I also noticed the frame rates to be very smooth overall. I only noticed a few minor hiccups here and there when loading a fresh new scene in an application, for example. But my favorite element of Daydream View and what will probably keep me back from more is the controller. The trackpad and motion tracking makes games and experiences much more worthwhile. And since the controller ships with every Daydream View unit, developers will be more inclined to program their apps with the controller in mind. For $79, the Daydream View is a great solution, if not the best solution for those looking to dip their toes into virtual reality for the very first time. It's not gonna compete with the high-end headsets from Oculus or HTC, but it's hard to go wrong given the price. It's one of the most comfortable VR headsets I've ever used. It's very portable. The plug and play design makes virtual reality all the more enjoyable. And the controller opens up a world of possibilities. You don't see many VR headsets with motion controllers for 80 bucks. And since it's a part of a brand new platform from a giant company called Google, it likely isn't going to be phased out anytime soon. We're gonna see the controller incorporated into many more apps in the future and we're gonna see Daydream itself be available on many more devices in the future. With that said, I'll leave links to check out Daydream in the description. I'm BoHD from PhoneDag.com. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.